I'll add to the videos out there about keyless entry um, in the Z3. This is a US 99, although it's pre-facelift, so it's a transition year. Wiring does vary across different models, so um, I kind of I poked around with a tester as opposed to trusting a diagram, although I did find this diagram, which was very handy. I'll pause on that for a second. Now this connector is, I believe, in all US models, not sure about European. It was taped up above this. Um, I'm a big believer in do no harm. I don't like cutting into wiring looms. What I did was I got, uh, there's one. I got these little, you know, these little crimp things and I filed down on the sander. I filed that down to the metal and then because I found that those fit really snugly over the pins there. So I'm actually going pin to pin. Um, based on this wiring diagram, it's pretty straightforward. We've got a, the red one. The first one here is always on, which is easily tested with something like this. Connect it to ground like that. And then just touch stuff and if it lights up you know it's hot so this is always hot that i connected a red wire to this is hot yellow one the second one long is hot when ignition is on third one is um ground and then these two below are a combination of one's lock and one's unlock and if we go back to this we see pin Nine is lock, pin 10 is unlock. So the one to the left is lock and the one to the right is unlock. Now I was able to test. I was able to test this because all I, all, all I needed to do was I took the hot off of this and I touched these two pins and just that touch was was hitting the, uh, hitting the door locks. So in the unit that I bought, which came in a box like this. It was on eBay, Amazon. With a, with a... Can't see my own phone. Uh, I got a manual with it, but it's not even right for... It's not even right. But it did, it did explain the wiring. Um, but basically to go through this wiring, the brown has to do with... You, you would wire those up for hazards, um, which I'll talk about in a minute. Red is always powered. It comes with an inline fuse. So I connected that inline fuse to the always hot on the plug. Black is ground, which I connected to the ground. Then this is configurable in various ways. It can either close a circuit when the buttons are pushed or it can send power when the buttons are pushed. So basically the instructions for the Z3 are you take the, the yellow and the yellow black on this one and you connect them to hot. What I did was I used one of these rancid connectors, which I'm okay putting here, but not here. So I took one of those rancid connectors and I connected those to power. And in that configuration, what happens then is that when the unlock and lock buttons are pushed, these are these send 12 volts and I was able to test that again with the tester so with all that in mind I can find the remote oh it's up here so now lock unlock and you can hear the relay of this going click and a click click and that is because it can activate hazards um but I tested these and it's hot. So these are, uh, these are, these send 10 volts if they, when they come on. I don't, oh, I don't want to send 10 volts. Now what I've discovered is this, this says, this says eight not used. And on some of the wiring diagrams, I've seen that eight is to do with hazards. And mine is in fact to do with hazards. But it doesn't take, it doesn't take power. Uh, it's going to be very hard to show this without. It's going to be very hard to show this with one hand, so I'm not going to. 
basically, if I short pin eight on mine, which is the second one in, if I short that to ground, then the hazards go off. So this is not perfect for it. What I would have to do is use this to open and close a relay, which connects that to ground. And I don't care right now. I'm probably gonna put in some halo headlights. So what I might just do is wire that hot brown to the halo headlights so that the halo in the headlights flashes and doesn't flash. I'm not, I'm not bothered enough about it to wire in a relay and I'm not bothered about it to try and hack it into the, uh, into the lighting circuit, but that's, so that's the way I've seen various, I've seen various, uh, videos where people are hacking into these wires too, going into the pink one. And that is just not necessary because these signals when given 12 volts will either open and unlock the door. Now this yellow wire, what I'm doing here is I'm coming off the power when the ACC power, when the car is running when the key is in and turned and I'm I've pulled it out to pass it to here with a fuse and then I will use one or more of these I will create connectors so that I can I've got the wire going up in there I've got a USB a USB thing here so because I don't really want to pull the glove box ever again as long as I live, I'm making this accessible as the pass-through point for the, for the wires going back. I may well put... Uh, I may well... I don't know. I'm, gonna, I'm doing a good job pointing the camera where I'm thinking. Uh, I may put one of those here somewhere or just float in the glove box but I never want to pull the glove box again so this will be my new place for switched power and the urgent thing for that is this um, Apple CarPlay Android Auto thing so what else did I not talk about I think that's just about it uh, I, I think from what I've seen from what I've read on this diagram the one two three is always the same it's always Always hot, hot on running and um, or ground, number three. I think that is always true. Um, after that, I think uh, it's definitely before just assuming this is right. It's definitely worth um, experimenting. Um, I discovered the, I discovered the, the emergency flasher because I was using my, I was poking around with this to see what was hot. And that effectively grounded pin eight through the tester, which is why I discovered that grounding them turns it on. Now it's possible that I could put 12 volts to that and it makes them fire. That just sounds like a 50-50 chance of blowing a fuse somewhere or, or doing harm somewhere. So I'm not gonna do it. Um, if anybody knows if 12 volts connected to that pin is the same as, has the same impact as grounding it, then let me know, cause I could, I could do that. If I could be bothered pulling this out again. What I might actually do is connect something to pin eight and have it more accessible. We will see. But that is, uh, I just wanted to demystify a little bit. So um, so I've tied up, not, not using orange, which is part of the system if you are just creating, closing a switch using this, as opposed to sending 12 volts, I think. What does it say? I don't remember. Uh, so I'm not using the orange, I'm not using the brown, which has to do with the hazards. Uh, just using the red, the the yellows are connected into the red because they always need power. One of the whites, the white with the black line is, one of them is unlock and one of them is lock, and the black is ground. Uh, all very straightforward. It was very simple. Bye.